Hello listeners and welcome to our English language program Daily Current Affairs Quiz. This is your RJ Priyanka and without any further delay we begin our today's episode with our very first question so the first question for today's quiz is in which of the following state the luminous power technologies is set to build the country's first green energy based solar panel manufacturing factory the correct answer for the question is D Uttarakhand Luminous Power Technologies has announced its plan to build the country's first green energy based solar panel manufacturing facility in Uttarakhand. The new manufacturing plant located in Rudrapur is expected to be fully operational by the end of this year, a company statement said. Now let's move forward to question number 2. In which of the following state the Voxen University has launched Project Aspiration? The correct answer for the question is D Telangana. Voxen University has launched Project Aspiration to empower adolescent girls of standard 9 to 12th Telangana Model School and Junior Colleges as per an official statement. As a part of the project aspiration students were selected by the school principal to take part in train the trainer workshop which commenced in the month of December 2022. Now let's move forward to question number 3. Petro Pavel, a former chairman of the NATO military committee, was elected as president of which of the following country? The correct answer for the question is A. Czech Republic. Petro Pavel, a former chairman of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO military committee, has become the new president of the Czech Republic. Pavel 61 defeated billionaire Andrej Babis in a runoff vote to replace controversial president Miloš Zeman as he emerged as the new Czech president. Now let's move forward to question number 4. Who among the following has announced his retirement from all forms of international cricket recently? The correct answer for the question is B. Murli Vijay Indian cricketer Murli Vijay has recently announced his retirement from all forms of international cricket Murli appeared in 61 tests 17 ODIs and 920 internationals for India He scored 3982 runs in tests with 12 centuries and 1550s 339 runs in ODIs with a solitary half century and 169 runs in T20 internationals Now let's move forward to question number 5 who among the following was appointed as the new vice chief of the indian air force the correct answer for the question is a air marshal ap singh air marshal ap singh has been appointed as the new vice chief of the indian air force official said he was commissioned into the fighter stream of the iaf on december 21 1984 he succeeds air marshal sandeep singh now let's move forward to question number 6 tablu of which of the following state bags the top prize at the 74th republic day parade the correct answer for the question is a uttarakhand Uttarakhand's Manskhan tableau which showcased religious places and progressive developments of the state during the 74th Republic Day parade on January 26th has been awarded the first position. Now let's move forward to question number 7. Which of the following company has appointed Heen Schumacher as its new chief executive officer? The correct answer for the question is D Unilever Unilever has announced the appointment of Heen Schumacher as its new chief executive officer following an extensive global search process. Heen will replace Alan Job who announced in September 22 his intention to retire from Unilever. Now let's move forward to question number 8. The Ladli Behna Yojana was launched by which of the following state government? The correct answer for the question is C Madhya Pradesh Shivraj Singh Chauhan Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh has recently announced the launch of the Ladli Behna Yojana in the Narmada Puram Hoshangabad district Poor sisters of all classes will receive 1000 rupees per month under this scheme and if they are already receiving benefits under other schemes they will continue to receive them Now let's move forward to our ninth question. What is India's growth rate in 2023 as per the IMF World Economic Outlook report? The correct answer for the question is A, 
6.1%. Growth in India is set to decline from 6.8% in 2022 to 6.1% in 2023. before picking up to 6.8% in 2024 with resilient domestic demand despite external headwinds. The IMF said in its World Economic Outlook update of January 2023. Now let's move forward to the 10th and last question of today's quiz. Former Dash Minister Shanti Bhushan has passed away recently. The correct answer for the question is B. Former law minister former law minister and senior advocate Shanti Bhushan has passed away recently he was 97 Shanti Bhushan was a law minister in the Murarji Desai cabinet between 1977 and 1979 So with this we end our today's episode of Daily Current Affairs Quiz please stay tuned for more learning this is your RJ Priyanka signing off for the day thank you